In this demonstration, I will show some of the differences between a traditional deployment and an easy deployment. So I have a development environment and a deployment environment. We can see in my assignment file the traditional types of settings we'll see, for example a file section, a doll and URR section, and some file redirects. We also have search object and search descriptor. So these are the traditional settings we're used to. I have my components directory for the output, so I'll now compile all components. You can see a number of individual objects being created. I'll now create my doll and URR files. So I have a number of objects. I'll now take these over to my deployment environment. And when I run the application, we see my form. So that's a typical deployment. When we go into the components folder, we can see that my doll and URR files are both locked, so I'll just try to rename them. And there we see it's locked, and the same applies to the doll file. I'll now change the configuration to put this into a development mode of easy deployment. I can get rid of all of the individual file redirections. I no longer need search objects or search descriptors. And I'm going to set search resources to resource first and specify my fixed directory structure location. So I'm going to put it in a folder called Easy. Once again, I'll just compile all. This time you'll see that I don't need to do a slash doll or URR. You can see the folders automatically being created by Uniface. take a look in some of these. There are my signatures. DTDs for example. And more regular objects such as forms. So that's what you would do at development time. I'll now change it for deployment. In this case, I'll specify my archive file, so I'm going to call that myapp.uar. Again, I just do an IDF slash all. Again, I don't have to do a doll or URR. And we can see my UAR file is being created. You can see the size growing as objects are added. To deploy, I just copy this single file. and paste it into my deployment environment. I now need to modify the assignment file. So I'll set search resources. I don't need search objects or search descriptors. And I can get rid of all of these individual file redirections. I've already specified myapp.uar in this assignment file. See the file is a lot simpler. 
and when I run my application, it appears exactly the same. The configuration and deployment has been far simpler. I'll now demonstrate another advantage. If I had to create a patch, for example, I can now just deploy another file without having to remove any of the existing stuff. So this time, I'll just call my output file patch.uar and I'll go into the IDF and modify one of my components. So this is the file we've seen in the application and what I'll do is just modify the layout slightly. File this and this should create my patch.uar. To deploy, again, I can just copy and paste this file. I'm just going to copy the name and add this to the resource section in the assignment file. Now I don't have to do anything to the existing file. I'll just add my new resource file. When I've run my application, we can now see I've got the new layout. Now if I decide actually there's a problem there, rolling back the change is easy. All I have to do is go back into my assignment file and comment out the new resource. When I've run my app, it's gone back to the original version. So this is just one of the simple scenarios we can do with easy deployment. There are other scenarios and some of these are described in the manual.